If you want to build in Web3 in 2026, you cannot just be a generalist coder anymore. The days of knowing one language and doing everything are over. The industry has matured, and it has split into three distinct layers, smart contracts, front-end, and infrastructure. The bear market tourists have left the building, and the companies hiring now are looking for deep, specialized expertise. They aren't paying for potential, they are paying for shipping code that secures millions of dollars. Today, I'm breaking down the top 5 languages you need to master this year to stay relevant. I've ranked these not just by popularity, but by salary potential and job security in the current market. First, the undisputed king of smart contracts, Solidity. Even in 2026, the Ethereum Virtual Machine, or EVM, remains the global standard. If you want to write code that holds money, launches tokens, or powers decentralized finance apps on Ethereum, Arbitrum, or Base, you must know Solidity. It has effectively become the JavaScript of blockchain. It is the most employable skill because nearly every major legacy protocol is built on it. Furthermore, the tooling has evolved. Mastery now means knowing frameworks like Foundry, not just writing the code. If you are a beginner, you start here. It is the gatekeeper to the industry. Next, we have the glue that holds the entire decentralized internet together, JavaScript and TypeScript. Here is the truth, smart contracts are useless if no one can interact with them. You need to build the website, the wallet connection, and the user interface. That is where TypeScript dominates. In 2026, libraries like Veeam and Wagme are essential tools, but it goes deeper. With the rise of account abstraction, front-end developers are now building the logic that removes seed phrases and gas fees for users. If you are already a Web2 developer, you don't need to relearn everything from scratch. You just need to learn how to hook your TypeScript front-end into the blockchain. This is the fastest path to a job for a traditional developer. Now, if you want to chase the highest salaries in the industry, you learn Rust. Rust is the language of performance. It powers Solana, Polkadot, and the newest generation of high-speed Layer 2s. While Solidity is about ease of use, Rust is about memory safety and raw speed. As DeFi becomes more like traditional high-frequency trading, protocols are migrating to Rust to handle thousands of transactions per second through parallel execution. It has a steeper learning curve, but the developers who master this are the ones writing the core infrastructure of the future. If you can write safe Rust code, you are effectively writing the engine of the new financial system. Number 4 is the backbone of the network, Go. You don't usually write smart contracts in Go. You use it to build the nodes and the servers that run the blockchain itself. The most popular Ethereum software, Geth, is written in Go. Additionally, Go is the language of the Cosmos SDK and app chains, which allow companies to build their own dedicated blockchains. If you are interested in DevOps, building blockchain explorers, or creating the high-performance backends that index blockchain data, Go is your weapon. It is fast, efficient, and it runs the cloud infrastructure that keeps Web3 online. Finally, we have the language of data and AI, Python. In Web3, Python has found a massive niche in analytics and security. You use Python to build bots that trade tokens, scripts that analyze on-chain data, and tools to test smart contracts for hacks. There is also Viper, a Python-based smart contract language that is gaining traction for its security features. With the explosion of AI agents this year, bots that hold crypto wallets and trade automatically, Python is the primary language used to program them. If you want to be a quant trader or a security auditor, Python is non-negotiable. So, pick your lane. Use Solidity for contracts, JavaScript for frontends, Rust for performance, Go for infrastructure, or Python for data. Don't try to learn them all at once. Master one, build a portfolio that proves your skill, and you become dangerous. I'll see you in the next video.